Welcome again to Clinics. Today we will review patient administration. We will take you through the process of registering a patient, capturing his photograph, and eventually accessing it when you need him again. So, um, like the last time, you have to log in, and as we discussed initially, as we discussed last time, when you when the patient works in that is not already registered you use the new patient menu. If it's an existing patient, you can use one of two methods. One, the find patient, and two, find patient's photo. In the due course, we would explain differences. And then you can also view your private patient and your new patients under insurance. In immediately, we go to new patient. While registering a new patient, if the card number is already existing, you can keep it, keep, key it in here. If not, you leave it blank and the system will automatically assign an ID for that particular individual. In our case here, we begin to type all the names, gender, and the date of birth is a drop down that you can pick, and um, the state of origin. mobile phone number, email address, um, contact address, home, and we go next. Now, you can upload the photograph here if it's already been saved on the computer. In most cases, that is not the case. So, we skip that and we will do that later. Blood group. At this time, we're registering the patient as a private patient because we haven't set up a HMO or client or from the back end. And so we save information. So this is the person's data sheet. And this is what it looks like. On the left, we have the patient details, edit patient, update photo, book an appointment, start an encounter, deactivate the patient, delete the patient. Below that, you have view nest of kings, view benefits, view patient history, view appointments, view test results, view bills, and then view payments. All of these links to the left refer to the patients whose, re whose details are currently displayed on the right hand side. On the right hand side, you can edit the con if it has chronic conditions, if it has medical history, you can update that directly. You can add other dependents. For instance, since this individual is married if he has a child you can you can set up that child directly on the so that on the family social history it can all be tied together beneath that we have the patient history where the activities on that particular account are listed it shows the date time the activity or update the module and the user who initiated that particular action so um, you can like I said earlier you can edit the information and um, you so we go straight to put in a passport for this individual before you set up the passport it's going to ask you you need to allow the application to access the camera and microphone it allows you to do this and then you can capture and upload Great, so now we have been able to capture the, file, the fellow's picture and there it is. If you look at the, up, the activity updates, it says photo was updated. Next, we go to deactivating a patient. Deactivating a patient is, for instance, if the person is deceased or if it's under insurance, it is no longer tied to your to particular establishment. And then you can delete a patient if that record was set up in error. Now, all these features on the left are currently accessible to me because I have been logged in as administrator. Um, you may see certain links grayed out depending on your access level defined by the administrator. Oftentimes, the front desk has access to a few of these, whereas the doctors have access to more and then the admin has access to delete patient. So if you need to delete a patient, you may need to contact your admin or be given admin privileges. Up to the top right is the is the status is the activity status of that particular patient if he is inactive or if he is active or if he is currently active. 
okay so we move to find patient um, when you click on find patient you have the list clicking on the card number or on the surname takes you into the details you can look for your patient by searching using a search key and selecting the field that we with which you want to use to search for instance we can use the card number the policy number the surname other names or his staff ID card if you have set up other clients and HMOs you can filter if you have if you know the category with which you want to filter that through you can also set, select that you can also change the status to search whether for active only or inactive only when you have set specified that you hit the filter button finding for finding patients by photograph allows you to visually identify the patient for instance I can see the pic the patient's picture while I am looking while I am filtering through the list. This helps especially for those who will be at the reception of front desk. On the private patients, it shows the list of only those who are on the private. If you select insurance patients, it shows you the list of only those who are currently covered under insurance. And um, the record we entered initially was not rec was not captured under insurance, and that's why. Is totally missing in this one. Thank you very much. Hold on for the next session where we'll take encounter management. Thank you very much.